Alrighty, I'm going to show you quickly how to uh, tether a Windows Mobile 6.5 device to a PC. Now I'm going to do another follow-up video and show you how to do it on a Mac. So this is just for PC now. Um, now I'm running Windows 7 on this laptop here and I don't think it matters if it's Vista or 7, but, um, you know, I've only tested with 7. So first things first, you need to have your device. Alright, now, you're going to need to install a registry editor. I've already done that. I've installed PHM reg at, uh, registry editor. Now what you're going to need to do is go... Put this down. Okay. What you're going to need to do is go to H key local machine, then com, and you're going to need to scroll down and find internet sharing, and then under that settings. So if you tap settings, I'll open up the okay. Oops. Okay, here we go. Um, you're going to get uh, something that says for cell connection. Now, I've already done this, but when you originally open it up, it's going to say AT&T um, ISP, something like that. Um, so, we, all you need to do is click on it, and where it says value data, all you have to change it to media net, but it has to be media net listed like this. So, capital M, capital E, then D-I-A, space, capital N-E-T. Alright, and then just hit OK. And then say it'll save. Then you just got to exit it. Okay, once that's done, you need to get your USB cable here. And plug it into the device. If I can do this one-handed. Oh, that's it camera down here, sorry. Just need to plug it into the device here. Then plug it into, oh, well, first of all, before I plug it in, um, I'm going to show you that Wi-Fi is off, so you can see Wi-Fi is on right now, connected to my local network. Now I'm going to hit the Wi-Fi toggle. Now Wi-Fi is off. You can see it disconnected there, just to prove to you. Now, I'm going to plug it in here, right to the USB. Now, on your phone, you're going to get a pop-up that says connect to PC. You're going to get Active Sync Disk Drive or Internet Sharing. You click Internet Sharing, and you press Done. Then, it will auto-connect, and I'll say connected. So, right now, you're connected to the AT&T media net, you're not connected to the actual um, paid tethered plan, you're using your regular phone's data. So only use this in emergency situations, you know. Um, I, I don't know what would constitute an emergency situation, but um, let's see, there it goes. And um, I don't know it will constitute an emergency situation, but um, just don't abuse it, or they'll catch you and they'll change your data plan, so you're going to get like a million dollar bill at the end of the month. Um, so let's just do a quick test, open up this article here. That's fully loaded. Um, so yeah, um, I did read that a few people had some issues with it. Um, namely, um, it would randomly disconnect um, while mid surfing. I don't know. As long as you're not, you know, downloading anything over the network, then 
you should be fine if you're just you know doing emergency surfing um yeah, but other than that that's that and so then when you're ready to disconnect just turn the display here um you just hit disconnect and it'll say disconnected and then it will disconnect from here and kick you back over to Wi-Fi close that um, turn Wi-Fi back on and then that's it I'm gonna give it a try over Bluetooth I have to find my Bluetooth dongle because unfortunately this does not have internal Bluetooth on it but I will show you how to do it um, on a Mac also in a follow-up video so keep your eyes peeled